I'm Robert Strayer, and I am the author of Ways of the World. To me, the central task of world history is not simply to include more stuff, more civilizations, more cultures, more events. The central task of world history, I think, is to provide a context, a framework within which some of the particulars that we study can be placed. Ways of the World's thematic, comparative, and big picture focus creates a context for the many stories, events, and processes of world history. Ways of the World also emphasizes what I call the three C's of world history, change, comparison, and connection. Ways of the World offers a thoughtful and reflective perspective on the past. It seeks to evoke questioning and to stimulate thought about the great questions of human life that history poses to all of us. At the beginning of each major part of the book, uh, there is uh, what we are calling a big picture essay, which tries to lay out some of the larger themes in the chapters that follow. New part opening big picture maps illustrate the global scope of the book. In the big picture essays and in reflections at the end of each chapter, I have sought to convey something of my own musings based on many years of teaching world history. Ways of the World is published in two formats, one with the narrative only, and another that combines the narrative with primary sources. The docutext, as it's called, incorporates both written and visual source collections in every chapter, each collection organized around a particular theme, issue, or question raised in the chapter's narrative documents and visual sources allow students to do what historians do, which is to consult the evidence and to come to some conclusions based on that evidence. It is a way of engaging students not only in reading history, but in doing history. A new pedagogical feature called Seeking the Main Point provides a single focus question for each chapter. We've also put a greater emphasis on environmental matters and on issues of gender in this second edition. We have drawn more cases from Latin America and Southeast Asia and have incorporated those regions of the world more fully into the book. A new portraits feature offers short biographical sketches of particular people, providing a glimpse into individual lives often obscured in the big picture of world history. These portraits, I think, add a very rich new dimension to the second edition of Ways of the World. Finally, the X book will feature content found only online. Each chapter will feature video previews of that chapter that I wrote and narrated. I'm genuinely excited about the second edition of Ways of the World. It does embody the slogan that I have come up with, that in world history, nothing stands alone. Context is everything.